Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's leave the spring and see what other adventures we can get ourselves into. Where did you come from? <laughs> yeah, she essentially hides in your shadow, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, poopers. Double poopers. No problem. Yep. Let's go, 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 go. You can go right, but you're not going to be able to do... Actually, I could show you a little something here. It's a little funny cutscene. If you do go to the right, you won't be able to do anything whatsoever, but it's still fun to show this little thing. Here's the Curtain of Twilight. <laughs> well, don't yell at me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you get the idea why she calls you thick, because you went in the complete opposite direction you were supposed to do. And yeah, let's go back to the village and see what's up. I'm going to do a little exploring there because there's a couple of funny little cutscenes you can do there. Oh, and you can also attack these guys, I suppose, in wolf form. It's, it's kind of odd that when they're down like that, you can't attack them whatsoever. I don't know why. The green ones, I believe, are called bulblins, not, not bokoblins like the blue ones. Just saying. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, I believe there's a couple more right in front of your house. See, like, I can't attack them now. Why can't I do that? I would like to. <laughs> Boop. Oh. It almost got me there. And I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm still looking for two rupees to get that elusive prize that I'm looking for. Maybe there's some more hidden within the grass, though I doubt it personally. All right, let's just move on through the gates and a talking squirrel. Actually, no. When you're in wolf form, you can talk to the animals. Oh, so cute. So yeah, you can talk to pretty much any animal in the game. Frogs, squirrels, birds. Alright, so now we have yet another puzzle inside this village. We have to get a shield and sword. I hope they're okay. So, yeah, let's take a look around here. Will he notice me if I go... No, I can't do that right now, can I? Alright, well, I'm gonna go over here first. To do a little cutscene. About the shield. Mm. Okay, so... When you get close enough, you'll be able to hear their conversation. Like, this is probably too far. <laughs> Very tiny text. Get closer. Maybe in the grass. How about here? Good. Oh, poopers. So now you know where the sword is as well. Uh, if you don't remember where his house is, that was where the... Uh, pregnant lady's house was when I brought the carriage back. Or cradle. Not carriage, dang it! Indeed! <laughs> oh, 
How about getting in there from that spot? But first, we can't actually go inside the house like directly, but you can talk to the dogs. Indeed, ah, that's so beautiful. Remember about digging holes? Yeah, he's gonna teach you the senses and to dig for stuff like so. Anything sparkly around this area that I could dig for? Mm. Uh, there is actually. I'm just gonna dig for some stuff. Maybe I could find the elusive two rupees that I'm looking for. Yeah! I've got enough now. I'm definitely not going to you know, dig through all these spots, just the most important ones. And I know what a blue rupee is, dang it! <sighs> you know, maybe this cursor is actually Navi. You know, this one that looks a lot like Navi? And maybe that is the one that is telling me the obvious. Maybe Navi is here, beyond the grave, forever looming over us with torment. Yeah, this was a, this was the cutscene that I was expecting a little bit earlier. And he thinks I took his daughter, but no, that is not the case whatsoever. And he can call down hawks just as well as you can using the powers of grass. Woo! Run, 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 run. Uh, talk to the cat. Yeah, you can't do anything about the hawk, however, the cat here hints that you can do something about it. Like, stand on this rock. Notice the alert from Midna? <laughs> now this is really fun. Get up here, jump across, jump across again. Hey, how's it going? Run! <laughs> Now from here, you can jump on top of the water wheel and on top of the house where that hole is. That's why you have to do that. Now that we are in here, climb on top of the table. And a little cutscene if you talk to uh, Midnight here. Get up here, smack the wall twice, shield the fall down. By smack, I mean run towards it and swing the control stick like that uh, control stick <laughs> the Wii remote anyway you get the idea there's the Ordon shield one of two things that i need from here it's kind of cheap that's because it's unfinished at the moment but still now this shi this shield here i should make note of this you want to make sure that you replace the shield with a metal one as soon as possible because if this one burns you'll never be able to get another one that looks just like it. There's a replacement wooden shield like this at another shop but it doesn't have this design. This design comes exclusively from this shield right here. Anyway, um, I can climb. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so leave the house and protect that shield with your life. It will burn under any sort of fire. Oh, good gravy, no. Uh -huh. Ah, he'll be fine. <laughs> so from here, you want to go up to that house, down this way, and try and sneak around him so he doesn't see you, otherwise he'll try to attack you. There's a frog. Yes, you can talk to the frogs. If you didn't see that. What do you have to say? As you can see, the animals are quite buddy-buddy to each other. Or the frogs are very afraid of a rather large wolf. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> Kuko, what do you have to say to me? Why, thank you. I groom myself daily. Even though this is the first day I've been a wolf. <laughs> okay, so, so now over here, you can dig for some stuff. Strangely, I missed the spot. And But the thing that you're actually looking for is... Next to the side of the house. Which is right here. See that? 
Uh, can I actually talk to someone? What if I were to talk to you here? Ah, he pops up next to her just to guard her. That makes a lot of sense. Can I... No, I can't do anything about that. Okay, I just wanted to try that for the fun of it. So anyway, dig here. Go inside the house. Clearly this village has security issues. <laughs> and they need to repair the floor. On here is the sword that you're looking for on the little couch there. Voila! And that's all we need. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sounds good. So now we can leave the area. I don't I don't really think there's anything else more that I can show you in the village. This is another one of those exclusive events that once you finish the event, you'll never be able to see this thing again. So I'd like to show as much of it as possible, or if anything. I'll just destroy their crops just because I mean like that. For pocket change, because pocket change does indeed grow inside plants, not on trees. So that's what that's why that saying always fell flat. Mm, I am? Sure, what the heck? Oh. Uh, I did know that, actually. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, can I actually go up here? I don't... I could probably go up there and see what's up. No, no, it's closed off. Bummer! Arg! I believe that black transition screen there is actually a loading screen disguised as a slow movie transition. Okay, I'm running. <laughs> um, no, there's really nothing more I can do here, I suppose, so... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the twilight. I guess I did manage to show everything. Hmm, that took a lot. I mean, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be, really. Hmm, no one there. Guess everyone's trying to stay indoors away from the monsters. You know, the boblins. Alright, let's move on. Huh? Okie dokie. How do you know this? I'm here, but I don't see you. Ah! These are known as shadow beasts, just as you target them and attack them. No big deal, very, very easy to defeat. Oh, and when you're on them, just keep pressing the A button to continuously bite them. That does more damage. Ooh, pretty. Bloom! Who knew this critter was living here all along? Nice to meet you! I hope you're not dangerous. Nah, you're not. You just said you protect the forest and whatnot.
That did not happen. These are some creepy critters. Well, that's not good. We gotta do something about that. Let me guess who that is. Yep. That's just how things always seem to go in Zelda games, don't they? This is really slow dialogue. I should click through this a little quicker. <laughs> That definitely sounds good to me. So as you see, Ordona is uh, like some sort of goat spirit. Well, it, it, he's known as the spirit of light for this particular place. And now that you've met him, if you stand in the spring, uh, it'll eventually recover your health slowly, a quarter heart at a time. I didn't really take any damage though, did I? So I can't really demonstrate that. <laughs> But yeah, if you just stand in this water, you'll be able to recover your health. It's like a s slow fairy fountain. Quite handy, though. Anyway, let's go to the twilight. Whoosh. I can see that. I guess I have to. This is not the Farron Woods we once knew and loved. That's for sure. <laughs> it is not a mask, dang it. I guess she has never seen a shield before. <laughs> oh, that sounds good, I suppose. It'd be kind of cumbersome to drag that around since I can't even use it. Man, I hope so. Perhaps we'll find out in the next part. Because I'm going to be ending this off soon. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.